Well, it is the first fully vaccinated Easter weekend for many people. As you recall, this time last year, people were hunting for their first dose of the vaccine, which was in high demand. Now 75% of Californians ages five and older are fully vaccinated, and that means holiday gatherings are back in full force. Ames to 10's Becca Habegger is showing us how people are celebrating. It's anticipation we've all felt. Waiting to mingle once again. To gather. After two long years that have been depressing, sobering. It's a very good demonstration that we need each other. There was a pandemic and we had to stay at home. So we couldn't play with our friends and we couldn't and we couldn't meet up as a community. 10-year-old uh, Anmol Sidhu Hi, Easter Bunny. puts it like this. It feels really good that we can spend time together again, that we can all spend time as a community. I just had to come out and see the kids and bring my granddaughter out. This event means that, you know, the kids can enjoy each other again and come out of that soberness that they've been in for so long. Our whole goal is to really bring back family and bring back a little peace. We haven't had that in a long time. Stephanie Thompson, co-chair of the Community Wellness Forum, is an organizer of this event. This is Easter in the Park. This is our 11th year of doing it. And you know, COVID didn't stop us. We, we, we are still in the pandemic. We realize that, but it's a little bit more freer right now. Health experts agree it comes down to common sense. We know how to gather together safely now. If you're going to see somebody high risk, get a test before you do that. On this Easter weekend, whether or not you're a person of faith, there's something special in the air. Does it feel normal? Actually, yes. A resurrection of hope and community. And you know, that was certainly by no means the only Easter celebration in our area. In fact, I'm standing here at the McKinley Rose Garden at McKinley Park in East Sacramento. It's beautiful here, and this is going to be the site of a 6.30 a.m. Easter sunrise service tomorrow morning. It's held by the table at Central United Methodist Church. That's going to be here tomorrow morning. And we also have a list of other Easter events happening throughout our area. You can find that on our website, abc10.com. Madison. Oh, Becca, what a great assignment you have today. It's so great seeing all the kids out, getting all those Easter eggs, and then the rose garden. The roses are in full bloom. Becca, thank you.